So I would just like to say, um, on my behalf, you know, I would not like to sit on your face. You mean you don't want her to sit on your face? I would not want you to sit on my face, or me to sit on yours, or any face sitting. Yeah, you know, no face sitting is what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, I would be disgusted if you sat on my face. Guy, just stop talking. I'm very sorry. I really don't care. I know you're an idiot, and I'm okay with that. Well, good. As long as we're clear on that, we're on the same page. You think perhaps we can speak to Jane now? No. She doesn't want to see you guys. Is this about Harley sniffing her? Because he said he's not going to do that anymore. Well, not unless she wants me to. Don't say that. I think there are a lot of reasons why she doesn't want to see either of you. Look, Alice, we've got bills to pay, okay? And money doesn't go that far these days. (laughs) What happened to your writer's advance? (sighs) I'm not going to keep helping you guys if you're just going to fuck people off. Well... Yeah, but other than you, who have we fucked off lately? Did you guys happen to prank call Donald Swanson? Something about ball licking and prostitutes? Yeah, uh, he kind of mentioned it when we were playing netball on Sunday. You saw him at netball? He plays netball? Yes, he plays social netball. But netball's a girl's sport. Is he a girl? Forget about the damn netball. He knows that you called him. Well, who cares what Swanson thinks? Because, you know... We're going to have our own TV show soon. But what happens if your show doesn't get made? Have you thought about that? If they shot down Flight of the Concords? Seriously, what chance do you have? Some people don't like musicals. You can't afford to keep burning bridges. You've already pissed off only the city's biggest producer and sabotaged any chance you may have had of getting some acting work. You really need to stop insulting people and think before you open your mouths. Does he wear a skirt too? More importantly, does he have the legs for it? Or, you know, maybe he shaves them. You think maybe that's why his wife divorced him? Because, you know, he shaves his legs and plays a girls sport. Makes a lot of sense. So, we're moving up in the world and we thought, hey, time to move into a new flat. Maybe one without a P-Lab beside it. You alright? I... T- <laughs> Can I have a hand? I'm holding <coughs> some stuff. I'm holding the boxes and that, but... Fuck it. Can you put the camera down? Lift that in. Fucking assholes. Fucking... Check out this couch. Can you believe somebody left that on the street? The new flat. New beginnings and happy endings in this place. I, I, I have a feeling. Boys, I tell you what. There's nothing like getting out on a fine summer's day Driving off the tee, getting your balls into the rough, banging away with your 9 iron, and slotting a few birdies. Bam! Yeah, yeah. We love fucking chicks. What what are you talking about? Look, we're playing the gentleman's game and you're talking about banging woman? For Christ's sake, man, get some class. Sorry, Mr. Ford. He didn't mean that. Let's get into this golf. You know, we really love it. You guys play? Oh yeah, all the time. Uh, well, what's your handicap then? Slow learning mainly. Uh, I have trouble with books with a lot of pages. Would you consider a small penis a handicap? Look, if a small penis is a handicap, then I'd say that Guy and I are both severely disabled. You guys know why I invited you out here, right? You wanted to talk about the show? Because you like us? No, uh, mainly because I needed someone to caddy for me and carry my clubs. (laughs) 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 But seriously, carrying my clubs. But I think I have some good news for you. Oh, um, one second, I just better take this. Trevor Ford. Oh yeah, g'day mate, how are you? (laughs) No, I wish. I'm uh, actually out here with those uh, two Pigville guys. 
Oh, you know, they sent us those uh, really crappy scripts. Yeah, and that really shitty pilot. Yeah, that's them, the two idiots. Yeah. Yeah, but they got us tied up to that contract, you see. Yeah, so I'm in uh, strict damage control right now. Oh, well, you know what they say. You can't polish a turd. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, what can I do? All right, well, I better go. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you next week. All right, see you, bye. Yeah, where were we? We were um, talking about some great news. Oh, yeah, well, uh, you guys know that pilot that you shot that was really good. Yeah, well, uh, Vision Apollo has decided to reshoot it uh, with the new scripts. We'll produce it for you. Well, so, so we'll have like a professional crew and everything. Yep, and you'll get to fly to Auckland to shoot it. And we'll be getting paid and everything to do it. No, you guys will be paying for your accommodation and your flights. Oh. Well, well I guess we can just dip into guy savings again. Oh. Good, good. That's the attitude I like to hear. I can see it now. Harvey Neville and Gary Pigeon, TV stars. It's Harley Neville and Guy Pigton. Yeah, whatever. Look, guys, uh, just look after the clubs, would you? Cool, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. Let's talk, more carrying. I want to get 18 holes in today. Yes, sir. Okay, we'll get them for you. Ching chong! Short round! Do not disparage me with your racist remarks. <laughs> He's a kid, eh? He's a really bad. He loves it. So, <laughs> Chong, good man, yeah, he starred for free in the pilot episode that we shot. But um, we said to him, hey, bro, um, if this ever gets funding, we're going to make sure you're attached as an actor. I don't know. I guess they mean well. But there's this um, underlying issue that because I'm Asian, they have to treat me differently. I know you said you weren't hungry, but we bought you this. And we didn't pick sushi because you're Asian either. No. We picked it because it's healthy, and we know that you want to lose some of that extra weight before we begin filming. And we want to support your diet. I'm not on a diet. Oh. So you're saying that I'm fat? No. I'm just trying to say that we're not racist. Harley, he loves Asians. It's almost disturbing in a way um, how much Asian pornography he has in the house. Yeah, I even love the smell of Asian pussy. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Are you saying that Asian pussy smells different from... White pussy? Well, uh, it, it's got a distinct aroma. So you're saying that Asian pussy is so potent that you can distinguish it from any other pussy? You're saying that Asian pussy stinks? No, Chong, that's not what I'm saying. I... Then you're saying that Asian pussy reeks, but because you have a fetish for it, you enjoy it. Far from it. I'm just saying that Asian pussy is good. It's a compliment to your race. How would you ever know about Asian pussy? You've only had a handful of girls. Wait. You're not talking about my cousin, are you? No. The whole Chong fiasco. It's difficult. Further complicated by the fact that I sleep with his cousin. Needless to say, it was very awkward when we broke up. Well, there was a lot of a crying, uh, screaming and girlish tantrums. Harley was very upset. Who then? What other Asian girl do you know? Just this girl that I dated once. I didn't know you dated any other Asian girls. Shut up. But when was that? Because there was no other Shut Asian... the fuck up, I said. Have you been to her place recently? What? Have you been to her place? Well, why would you ask me that? Because she said that she's seen a seedy little bald man looking through her window at four in the morning. Well, I'm offended, actually, because 
I would not make that same mistake four times. I've learned my lesson. She also said that several pairs of her panties have disappeared from the clothesline. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Nope.